I was brought up as Christian. My parents, with my brothers, they, they sent us to Sunday school and it continued into the early days of my marriage. As happens with quite a number of people, something occurred which really made me question God. And to be honest, I realised I wasn't really a Christian at all. So I very angrily rejected God. I think I was quite proud of myself for doing it as well. We lived out in the country, in Somerset in fact. I had somebody staying with me for a couple of weeks and when they arrived they wanted to go to a church. Being the good host, I went along with her. Didn't think much more about it. And the following Sunday, for some reason, I wanted to go again. And this continued. And I didn't really know why. I used to sit there and think, I don't know why you've come here. I don't even believe in all of this. I still kept questioning, and this continued for quite a number of weeks. And then one day I arrived at the church door, and I was welcomed by the welcomers on the door. And I noticed immediately that it was set up for communion. And I thought, oh. If I'd known, I wouldn't have come. And I do remember actually looking round and thinking, I can't get out. So I sat through the service. And right from the beginning, whether it was the welcome in the hymns or the prayers, I kept on hearing the word come. This same word again and again. And then as they were going up for communion, the person next to me said, are you coming, Jill? And I said, no, I'm not and sat there on my own while everybody else was going up. I was quite happy sitting there. And I heard a voice say, are you coming? I had to get up and I joined the queue and I took communion for the first time for many years. And I went back to my seat and this is a moment I will never, ever forget. I sat there and I felt I was sitting in a shaft of light, the peace and the sense of joy. And I, I think I must have been looking upwards because I've always described it since as having a glimpse of the glory of God. I was just overwhelmed with joy and peace. And I, I sat there and went home wondering what on earth really had happened. That night, I felt called to ask for forgiveness and commit myself to being the Christian that I think he wanted me to be. And it, it changed my life.